You just got yourself a new fish finder and now you're trying to figure out where to put the transducer. What's the best place on the kayak? Good news, I made all the mistakes and I'm going to share those lessons learned with you this week on Kayak Hacks. I've got the Hummingbird Helix 7 fish finder, which is a fairly large unit, so I decided to balance out the weight between the two sides of the kayak. I preferred the actual screen to be on the right hand side, so I logically put the transducer over here on the left. I put it far enough forward to be out of the way of my paddle stroke, but what I didn't consider is that my anchor trolley is on this side as well. And here's what happened. Now it's time for School of Hard Knocks lessons learned. And the first one here is don't mount your transducer on the same side as your anchor trolley. Well, that wasn't good. So I wanted to get it out of the way of the paddle stroke and the anchor trolley. So I started to move it to the back of the, the kayak. I figured back there, there couldn't be a problem with anything. I figured this is perfect because the drag would be balanced between the left and the right side and I wouldn't notice that as I was paddling. I would move forward as if this wasn't there at all with just a little bit of drag from the transducer itself. What I didn't anticipate was that the anchor trolley is still a problem. Here's what happens. If the kayak shifts in the tide, the anchor trolley is going to come and pull against the transducer and knock it out of place. So clearly, this wasn't a good choice either. And even if I put it all the way over here, my anchor rope could still come over and catch on it. The other problem I did not anticipate was that as you paddle, you compress the water and it creates a denser wave that moves past the transducer and it's going to show up as a bright line on your screen just like this. If your buddy is paddling right next to you, you'll see his bright lines from his paddle strokes as well. Now I know that that doesn't impact anything. It's in the dark area which is the area underneath my boat and I could use the down imaging or the sonar to see exactly what's there and ignore that bright line but I'm obsessive compulsive and it bugs me so I don't want that either but the fact that the anchor trolley can be a problem dictates this is a bad place to put the transducer. So what's left? Only the right front of my boat. I've got it far enough ahead of my paddle to where I won't get in the way there and I've tried to put it far enough forward to where it's not the drag isn't going to be as noticeable as it was when I had it over here exactly on the side. It's far enough back from the bow of my kayak to where I don't think that the anchor rope could ever get under and interfere with it. I know this puts more weight, it puts all the weight of this fish finder on this side of the boat, so what I'll do is I'll balance that out by pushing my battery farther to the other side, and I don't think that I'll notice any difference in terms of left or right cam. And when I'm ready to store this, it's a matter of just unscrewing a little bit and rotating it inside the boat, and now it's protected as I roll down the road. And now I think I'm finally ready to go and see how this thing performs. So, considerations to summarize. Don't have it in the way of your paddle. Don't have it in the way of your anchor rope. Don't have it in the back where you think it might be out of the way of your anchor rope. And if you're bugged by the bright lights of the pushed waves showing up on your screen, uh, don't have it in the back either. I learned a lot installing this because the only other fish finder I'd ever used is one of these portable guys that I had on my canoe and then on my kayak. Transitioning to a real fish finder has been a journey for me and I hope you can avoid the errors I made in placing this critical piece of equipment. Comments? Any other places that it shouldn't go? Please put those in the comments below. Thank you. Take care.